Hey, I'm Tomer and I'm the product manager for Applico UX at Applico. On this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a waterfall chart in Applico UX. Let me show you how to do it. The waterfall chart is one of our most common widgets as a result of its analytical importance and how easy it is to set it up. Let's take a closer look. On the following example, we first see the total value for the budget version for the selected accounts. We then see the calculated variance for each one of the accounts compared to the actual version and eventually we see the total for the actual version, which allows us to quickly understand what are the main drivers to, for the growth or decline between those versions. Let's make it even more clear by adding the source data next to it. So by clicking on the error on the right hand side of the toolbar and then on the responsiveness screen, I have an option to duplicate this entire widget. So I would duplicate it, call it source, and click on the create button. If I now close this pop-up, I can see immediately another waterfall chart widget next to it. I will click on the cube settings and change the widget type to be a grid. Then this table widget would now show me the source which is behind this waterfall chart. And as been explained before, you can see that we see the real value for each one of the accounts for each one of the versions and the logic to apply the specific waterfall chart is coming directly on top of the UX. So for instance, I can click now on the cube settings, select the version dimension, switch the order of the version putting actual first, budget next, and now by clicking on the cube settings again and reverting it back to a waterfall chart widget type, I would get the same waterfall chart but reverted from actual to budget. Now let's try to make it even a bit more tricky by setting a waterfall chart which has a different breakdown than the account. So I will click on the responsiveness screen once more and duplicate example one and we'll call it example two. I will click on the create button, close the pop-up and again I would have the exact waterfall chart duplicated. This time I'm going to click on the cube settings directly on example 2 and I'm going to drag the account dimension to be on the internal filter for that widget. I will then drag the region dimension from the global filters into the analyze dimension sector. I would choose a specific subset which would be all n elements. I would also choose an attribute code and description and we close the pop-up. You can now see that I have the breakdown of budget to actual by any one of the countries for the net sales account. I can of course change it to any one account and see the immediate impact. Now we can see now that the width for that widget is a bit narrow so I would click on the responsiveness screen, make this widget slightly wider, take the full length of the page, go back, and that's already looking much better. And that's how quick you can create a waterfall chart in Applico UX. Follow the links for more Applico UX videos. If you enjoyed what you saw, tell us what you think in the comments box below and hit the like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out our newest content. Thanks and see you on the next one.